Jesus and neglect lawyer Will Eady. And I just finished the deposition of one of our experts in a case that's going to trial against the Brayview Nursing Home Facility in Cleveland, Ohio in December, which is a Providence healthcare facility. It involves the choking death of Mr. Thomas Havelka in 2017. And today our nutritionist was being deposed and one of the issues she brought up that I thought was really important to share with folks is the connection between weight loss of a nursing home resident and the risk of choking. So I'm down here in Florida. You can see my uh, I set up so you can see the alligator sign. I should probably not have my back to the, to the alligator pond. But, um, you know, when you have a trial like this, you have a case like this, it's really important to get solid experts. And that means you have to travel to where the best experts are. And I think um, this expert, her name's Janet McKee, is really one of the best nutritionist, dietitian experts you can get. And one thing she brought up was that, yes, this was a choking death, and yes, this was, um, you know, an acute event where someone obviously died from choking on food, but that you shouldn't underestimate the connection between the resident's weight loss that the facility didn't adequately address, uh, according to us, and according to our allegations in this case, and choking, because when someone has weight loss, as their weight goes down, and we're talking, you know, significant unintended weight loss, not intentional dieting, things like that, when someone's weight goes down, or and or you have deconditioning or weakness, things like that, can actually affect the muscles that we use to swallow. So, you know, when we swallow, we, we use certain muscles to propel the food down uh, the trachea and, and not the windpipe, um, or the esophagus and not, and not the windpipe. And if we have that kind of weakness, if we have um, weight loss that leads to things like that, not only can that affect those muscles, it can affect your ability to swallow, it can also worsen dementia. It can demonstrate a lower food intake, uh, which can be part of the problem as well. People may not be able to eat as well and therefore consume less. And when they are eating, they may not be able to consume as much. So that's the connection. It's important in any nursing home abuse or neglect case to really get familiar with the medicine, get familiar with the science, get familiar with the different disciplines, nursing, diet, nutrition, medical, uh, that are involved in long-term care and make sure that you have all the facts. So this is nursing home abuse lawyer Will Eady from Ohio signing off after explaining the difference or the importance of noting weight loss in a choking death case. If you have any questions, obviously you can put them in the comments, you can like or share this. Don't put anything confidential about a case. If you need to put something confidential, uh, give us a call. I'll put the phone number to use in the um, description or comments, but don't put anything confidential in public like that. Otherwise, uh, it won't be confidential anymore. Great, thanks.